They're so comfortable with each other and it makes me so uncomfortable. It's just kind of like fun to watch these dudes be like open-minded and like, you know, film all sort of things. Drag show here at BuzzFeed Studio. We had a lovely. Oh my time. god! Turn it is it the Try Guys? I love the Try Guys so much. They're the nicest human beings. I'm, I've met them when they come in the office. No, I don't think I've ever been to a drag show. You're gonna be. Ah, oh, I love to the drag top. queens. Drag queens, drag culture. I don't know anything. I will be your guide. Oh, I love this episode. I watched it too. They all turn like drag. Biological. Object. It's fun to watch these grown ass so men. Drag queens are like. Like. Try new things. I never wore heels, mostly because my feet are so say, big. I don't even understand why ladies wear mm. heels. The calves. This is so Almost funny. Gross how perfect they are. Whoa, did you see his calves? This has to go? That has to go. All of it? Yep. How long does it take to shave a leg? <laughs> how well groomed should the Daria be? Can I get those pits? Oh my god. Together? Her name is Ginger Biden. <laughs> Her name is Ginger <laughs> Oh sh Keith is a really nice guy. We had him on Challenge Challenge. He's so cool. Champagne can. Amazing. I love these names. Look! Oh my god! Oh my god. I thought it was good. They're so hot. And I would feel They're, how do they do it? How do they just like transform every single time they have to do something? Cheyenne Pepper! Cheyenne Pepper, that is a beautiful name. <laughs> This wow, those moves. Cornucopia Cornfell. I forgot what he looked like. Oh my god! It's just kind of like fun to watch these dudes be like open minded and like, you know, film all sort of things. Huge respect for drag queens. You can't watch a Try Guys video and not like smile and laugh. I love them so much. I've stand them since 2015, I think. They get along so well, and it shows a friendship that everybody wants. In this epic four-part series, the Try Guys will test what it's like to drive under the influence. <gasps> I've been watching this drive. one. We're getting drunk, we're getting stoned, we're getting sleepy, well, and we're gonna be texting. As we're long as it's safe. We're doing this specifically to show you why you shouldn't do this. And we're gonna do it. Good job, guys. Let's go. Okay. I think that's Keith's car that they're using, too. I don't know how Keith allowed them to use his car to film this. Take a nice and safe look, but not too slow, because I don't want people to think I'm drunk. But, but you are. Ah, sh This is amazing. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh. Oh, I, you were definitely in the middle of the Am answer. I in the intersection? <laughs> and this course is low-key hard. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, this is giving me anxiety. It's a fake puppy! But still! Remember feeling just this surge of confidence like I have never felt before. This was funny and fun because it was a simulation, but each one of those cones, that could be a pedestrian. See, there's always a sort of message, and I like that. They're all very different from each other, which is what really makes it fun to watch. I hope that when I'm 30, I have these kind of friends. Today, the Try Guys are trying on some of the most cringy Halloween costumes for couples ever invented. This is the greatest day of my life. Every oh, year. goodness. So let's strip. Oh, oh no! Yes! Oh, my God. Now we're ready. They're just... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just, like they're so comfortable with each other and it makes me so uncomfortable. We fit together. That's so cute. A non -sexual Cheesy. Way. Next up is the hot dog and the buns. Or should I say the leaner and the butt. Their friendship too is what makes it, which is so nice. It's not only are they funny people, they have great personalities, but they're also friends. Look how cute he is. Do I look like a hot dog or do I look like an animal vagina? He looks like a crepe, if anything. I have to put my head in his bun flap? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Beer in the headlights. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I actually really like this one. I do that. Think they turn on? Mack them. Ah! Oh my god! Party! He broke the boob. Do you watch who lose award winning? Oh my god. And totally missed Is this the slutty handmaid's tail? <laughs> you know what? Honestly, it's it's really the bonnet. This is okay. This is not. I think the bonnet. No, that's off. pretty no, funny. That's, that's pretty funny. Since <laughs> the bonnet off, you can just be a then sexy you're back devil. back to sexy red little red riding hood. Sexy devil. I mean, why not be both? Their dynamic is just so. Ugh, it's just so comfortable. So those videos all came from the Try Guys. I love them. Since they have so many crazy videos that we couldn't possibly show all that they do, we're gonna show you a quick montage of some of the recent videos to give you more of a scope of what they're all about. Okay. They left BuzzFeed and they're their own little 
little YouTube group now. They have their own little warehouse, but it's actually one of the dude's houses. <laughs> oh, I saw this one when they tried out the roller coaster at Knott's. Oh, I've been on that ride at Knott's Berry Farm. That one's not a fun one. <laughs> I love this song. Is that from the VidCon? Yeah. I think I saw this performance actually. I'm dead. The Babadook is a gay icon. Yes! Oh, hell yeah. We love you, Eugene, you perfect human being. They're ballsy for doing this, man. Hi. That's baby. Hi. My baby, oh my god. Oh, their baby is so cute. Look at them. Oh my gosh, is this my first time on the Can you bring a bean too if you want? Look at this precious little nugget. That's how I feel about children. They terrify me. They're too fragile. We're gonna have a consultation with the plastic surgeon, and then we're gonna have a Photoshop artist recreate what it would be like if we got plastic surgery. Three, no, that's, that's what I need two, to do. One. <laughs> Wow. I mean, he looks great no matter Mario what. Have you ever played Mario Party and you puffed up the balloons of somebody's face? <laughs> Wait, what changed? Do we have not have the after photo? That is the after photo. Damn, so they're saying you're beautiful in what? general. <laughs> oh! oh my god. Who the f is that? They can't do Zach dirty like that. Y'all look perfect the way you are. You don't need no surgery. Their whole content is super different. That's one of the things that like has their audience so broad. It's because they do so much. They've worked so hard. I, I really applaud applaud them. And finally, before we get into more questions, one noteworthy piece of news on the Try Guys happened earlier in this year when they formed their own company. Right, yeah. They left BuzzFeed. So we want to show you a small piece of their announcement of that. Yeah, let's do it. We decided we should make a company. And for the most part, I think it was a good decision. Collectively, we decided it was just time to try something else. You know, we <laughs> try something else because they're the try guys. The whole time we felt like there was more that we could be doing and giving to you and now's that time. I'm just really excited to be able to work with my friends in a capacity that challenges our creativity. We That's so cool. Zoom channel, get amped, get with it, let's do this. That's awesome, honestly. Like, the fact that this is their chance to like branch out, even become bigger than what they already are, and I feel like it was the perfect time. I'm sure it wasn't easy. I heard there's a lot of, you know, like, fees to pay, a lot of things to handle before they could leave. Gotta commend them for doing that. So here's a picture of the Try Guys. Keith. Ned, Zach, and Eugene. They're currently some of the biggest YouTubers on the rise and even hosted this year's Streamy Awards. What do you think it is about these guys that people like so much? They're just so much fun and outgoing and willing to do different things and have adventures. They're all super funny and they all have like kind of a different personality. There's something about them that's just kind of like likable because they all have their own personalities, they're very different from each other, but seeing them clash together is really entertaining. The group started making videos together in 2014 when all four worked at BuzzFeed. Yes. I can't tell you how many times I'd stay up late and they're thinking, oh, I'm doing homework now, I'm watching uh, <laughs> BuzzFeed. First videos were not meant to turn into a series, they were just one-offs, but according to the Try Guys, they could not convince other staff members to participate in their crazier videos, and that's how the group came to star, just the four of them. Oh, so it was basically like the four craziest dudes down to do anything. That that sounds good to me. One of the most Notable episodes was them trying drag, which we showed you earlier, which many say was when the Try Guys really came together. What are your thoughts on what it must have been like to leave such a big company to pursue this on their own? I thought it was really scary for them. Props to them for just being brave enough to actually go out and do that. But you know what? That worked for them the first time. They were brave enough when everyone else wasn't to go and try those things, and it's paying off. It looked like they're a lot happier now with being independent. Props to them for finding whatever fits them a little more. They probably saw something within the Try Guys formula that they thought, yo, we could really make something out of this, and if we have our own creative freedom, we can take this to a whole new level. That's where they got their start. So it's like, of course, they're always going to be like forever indebted to them for that. It gave them the ability to be able to take that risk to like start their own um, production company and do stuff on their own, which shows that like the fans that started with them at BuzzFeed are loyal fans because they've been there for them since the beginning. It's easy to work for someone because you're being told what to do, you have a schedule there, you know where you're going and what you're doing. 
But then when you're gonna take that concept that you've worked on and then make it your own, you don't have that same sort of management or backup there. It's just you and your friends. So the fact that they were able to do it and do it so successfully is incredible. As you saw earlier this year, the group became independent and started their own production company. With the help of their fans and Patreon, they were able to raise enough money to start this company, hire a crew, and sustain on their own. They did this to not only have more creative control over their content, but also so that they could focus on additional projects to help and grow beyond just the Try Guys videos. I mean, that's like the best thing that you could hope for. And like to take something that you have and just make it even bigger. What do you think about them trying to grow beyond YouTube while also being such a strong talent on the platform? I think there's nothing wrong with trying to grow and do something new. If you stick to the same thing, like over time, it's gonna get boring. And if you wanna stay in this industry, you always have to, you know, try new things and you have to kind of expand your creativity. The whole moving thing is just very common. I feel like they're just following what other YouTubers are doing. Like everyone is moving on to Twitch. They're gonna do just fine. Their mindset is already in the future and what they want for the future and this where they want to get for their stability and for everything because they know they're not going to be forever. No one wants to put all their eggs in the YouTube basket. So obviously lots of like giant creators like FB itself, you know, we don't do just stuff for the internet. We like to create things for, you know, uh, traditional media, for social media platforms, things like that. And I think that just comes with the risk of being primarily an internet creator. Finally, as the Try Guys continue to experiment into trying all different kinds of things, what is one thing that you hope that they try? Try, try. Have they done like haunted houses, extreme haunted houses? I wanna see a traveling series of them going to different countries and trying out different cultures and stuff like that. Try to make a movie, guys. Try to make a blockbuster hit so that we can sell out all the tickets opening night. You make a family recipe? Like, cause they, they, they have families and I feel they all come from like different backgrounds, different places. Maybe they can like involve their moms and like make a family recipe from, with their moms and try to like replicate it. Deep sea diving? Just because I want them to run into just the strangest, grossest sea life creatures and I think it would be hilarious. And I think it's fun to see people scared. Is it psychotic? I think it's a little bit psychotic. Thanks for trying out this episode of College Kids React. Shout out to CK Royals. Be sure to subscribe to see what YouTubers we cover next. Make sure you comment something in the first 30 minutes. We are responding in the comments. Hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. And if you enjoyed this episode and want to check out more from the Try Guys, be sure to subscribe to their YouTube channel. You can click on the link right over there.